for side determination of you can say bones of upper limb with two points only first bone of the upper limb that is a key bone that is clavicle you must know only two points for side determination of the clavicle that is number 1 that is a medial 2/3 convexity medial 2/3 convexity always anterior and conoid tubercle always inferior side here you can see there are two clavicle present number 1 medial 2/3 convexity anterior conoid tubercle always inferior so this one right sided clavicle in second clavicle here you can see medial 2/3 convexity anteriorly and conoid tubercle always inferiorly with this two point you can determine the side that is this one right sided clavicle and this one left sided clavicle other points of clavicle for viva purpose you should know that is medial end of clavicle that is a quadrilateral lateral end of clavicle that is flattened from above to down for shaft medial 2/3 part that is convex anteriorly lateral 1/3 part that is concave anteriorly and there are three structure present at the inferior side so here you can see number 1 subclavian groove number 2 nutrient foramen and number 3 conoid tubercle this all three structure they are always situated inferiorly and there are three structure present at the inferior surface of the clavicle that is number 1 subclavian groove number 2 that is nutrient foramen and number 3 that is conoid tubercle this three structure present at the inferior side of the clavicle so this clavicle that is you can say left sided clavicle second bone of upper limb that is scapula scapula that is a triangular in shape and it is also known as shoulder blade only two point for proper side determination of scapula you must know that is number 1 lateral angle or you can say glenoid cavity always laterally or outer side and number 2 second number point that is spine here you can see there is one triangular elevation at the posterior side of the scapula spine of the scapula always situated posteriorly according to that two point here you can see glenoid cavity outer side spine that is posterior side so this one you can say left sided scapula here you can see glenoid cavity outer side spine of scapula posteriorly so this one that is a right sided scapula for other point you should know spine of scapula that causes division of dorsal surface of scapula into two part this one known as supraspinous fossa and this one known as infraspinous fossa lateral border of the scapula starting from glenoid cavity up to the inferior angle of the scapula that is a thickest border of the scapula third bone of the upper limb that is you can say humerus humerus that is the longest bone of upper limb here you can see only two point for proper side determination of humerus that is one point for upper end and second point for lower end one point that is first point of the side determination of the humerus that is head that is hemispherical head that is always situated medial side second point for side determination that is here you can see at the lever of lower end there is one large fossa that is known as olecranon fossa always situated posteriorly according to this two point only you can determine that is a this humerus that is a right sided humerus for this humerus here you can see head that is directed medially and at the level of lower end olecranon fossa 
लार्ज फोसा दैट इज सिचुएटेड पोस्टीरियरली टू दिस ह्यूमेरस दैट इज अ लेफ्ट साइडेड ह्यूमेरस अदर पॉइंट फॉर रिमेम्बर और यू कैन से यू शुड नो फॉर वाइवा पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू अपर एंड ऑफ द ह्यूमेरस दैट इज हेमिस्फेरिकल एंड लोअर एंड ऑफ द ह्यूमेरस दैट इज फ्लैटन फ्रॉम एंटीरियर टू पोस्टीरियर हेड इज डायरेक्टेड मीडियली अपवर्ड एंड स्लाइटली बैकवर्ड दिस इज द सेकेंड पॉइंट लास्ट पॉइंट दैट इज अ लेसर ट्यूबरकल दिस वन नोन एज लेसर ट्यूबरकल दिस वन नोन एज ग्रेटर ट्यूबरकल लेसर ट्यूबरकल ऑलवेज टूवर्ड्स द एंटीरियर नाउ फोर्थ बोन ऑफ यू कैन से अपर लिम दैट इज अ बोन ऑफ फोर आर्म मीडियल बोन ऑफ फोर आर्म दैट इज नोन एज अल्ना For proper सर determination of ulna, we must know about two notches of ulna. They are number वन trochlear notch and number टू radial notch. Two main point for सर determination of ulna: number वन trochlear notch faces forward or you can say anteriorly. number 2 that is a radial notch here you can see this one radial notch always situated laterally for head of the radius according to that here you can see trochlear notch anteriorly radial notch laterally so this one left sided ulna in another ulna you can see trochlear notch anteriorly radial notch laterally so this one right sided ulna in additional point or you can say uh, you should know the point for viva here you can see concavity at the level of upper end that is known as trochlear notch always anteriorly lateral border of the you can say shaft that is a crest like border also known as interosseous border situated laterally at the lower end here you can see there is one small projection known as styloid process that is situated postero medially side determination of radius with only two points so here you must know about two tuberosity this one radial tuberosity and at the level of lower end this one dorsal tubercle of lister two point for radius radial tuberosity that is always faces towards the ulna that is medially and dorsal tubercle of lister that is always situated posteriorly in this radius here you can see radial tuberosity medially and dorsal tubercle of lister that is situated posteriorly so this radius that is a right sided radius like that here you can see radial tuberosity medially and dorsal tubercle of lister that is posteriorly so this radius that is a left sided radius other point for radius so here you can see upper end of the radius that is a disc shape that is known as head of the radius exactly below this there is one narrow part that is known as neck of the radius and exactly below it medial side there is one elevation that is known as radial tuberosity lower end of the radius that is expanded as compared to upper end with you can say laterally one pointed part that is known as styloid process at lower end of the radius here you can see posterior aspect of the lower end there are 1 2 3 and 4 vertical grooves for extensor tendons on the medial side of the radius at upper end radial tuberosity at the shaft interosseous border and at the lower end there is one notch for ulna